I'm not sure whether it's good morning or good afternoon because I haven't got my watch on. <laughs> but we did get up late today. It's Sunday actually. And uh, yeah, been another quiet week on the vlog in front for me. And um, we've got a bit of a sick boat at the moment. Not me, although I think I'm getting it now. But Lee's had a quite a bad chesty cough. So uh, she sounds like she's smoking 60 a day. So um, I've told her to stay in. I'll go up the allotment on my own. Needs to do some water and stuff. Anyway, I'll talk to you when I'm in the car. She's on the road to recovery now, so I think it was just best for her to stay in the boat today, pretty much all day. Stay warm like she did yesterday. <clears throat> we didn't get up till blooming half. Well, I got up about 10 this morning. Lee got up just a little bit after I took the dog out. And uh, yeah, so she's had a, a good few hours sleep, which is good. What else, sir? Did you see the Northern Lights? I think it was Thursday night. They were absolutely amazing. Um, I stuck my head out of the cratch and couldn't really see because obviously we've got quite a lot of light pollution here. And then I let my eyes set and then I could see it. And I thought, oh my God, that's unbelievable because I've never seen them before. And or I don't think I have, can't, can't recall. And then um, I actually went outside and I took my iPhone and took the pictures you're going to see in a moment with the, yeah, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, I think I've got. And it could see it better than I could. So obviously slow shutter speed and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, quite add it in night mode for anyone who wants to know how to take those sort of photos with the iPhones. Make sure you're in night mode and uh, hold it as still as you can. And you get pictures like this. Mind you, the old conspiracy theorist inside me says, how come we're seeing these so far south now? Because I don't ever remember seeing them as a kid, do you? Not unless you, you know, I know people see them up in Scotland and that, but down this far, Midlands? Well, actually, South Midlands we're in, really. So um, I hear lots of conspiracy theories going on there on Twitter and everywhere else online saying that it's something to do with what they're spraying in the atmosphere and all that sort of stuff. Well... I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole today, but there might be something in that. So, because there's definitely something going on, isn't there? But yeah, it's just a conspiracy theory. Or are we just fortune tellers? <laughs> I don't think there's been much else other than that. Obviously, I'm labour still getting on my absolute nerves. Uh, I just don't even know what to say. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there right now. Yeah, I'm going to go take myself up the allotment, do some watering in the greenhouse, check on things. Um, I know there's lots of weeding and stuff needs doing and we need to plant some late potatoes and a couple of other bits and bobs. So, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to do the water and maybe pick a few bits. I had some fresh chilies in me tea the other night, which was lovely. And yeah, anyway, let's go up the allotment. It's really quiet up here, everybody. Hardly anyone here. There's a couple of people over there, but it's that time of year now, really, isn't it, with the allotment? It's uh, kind of coming to a close. Yeah, Lee's cash cow. As you can see, I'm in my car again, wherever that is. There it is. She's got her car back. Um, it was, or seemingly, we'll see what happens over the next week. It was to do with the oil cooler. And uh, yeah, it's all done. So that cost 750 plus fat, but we got away with a little bit. So that's all good. So there's the news on the cash cow. Let's hope that now lasts her for another six months and then we'd make a decision next time don't we guys I think you all know what I want to do but it's difficult it's difficult anyway let's go and have a look at the allotment I haven't been up here for a while to be honest with you probably gonna I'm gonna be black now aren't I because the sun's behind me but <laughs> yeah I haven't been up here for probably three or four weeks actually so uh, I know Lee has fair play well, she loves it I just haven't had time or the inclination to be honest with you you know what's been on the last couple of weeks so anyway, let's have a little looky-looky, shall we? I know she was digging that patch, but it was too wet, so she stopped halfway. Um, but we'll come up and do some more. So I think she wants to plant some late potatoes, and then, um, well, we'll get this ready for winter. We'll cover it up. Got now all the parsnips, because we've had our first frost, they need picking, but we'll, we might come up tomorrow or the next day when Lee's feeling a bit better. We'll come and have you know, a day or half a day at it and sort it all out. The leek's looking fantastic, look. I don't know what them other things next to it are. I don't know what they are. 
<laughs> I can't remember. Anyway, let's go and have a little look in the greenhouse and have a look at these potato, not potatoes, tomatoes. I can see them big buggers here, look. I, don't, I can't remember what they're called, Russian blacks or something, I don't know. But aren't they weird? See, and she's got plenty of vine tomatoes in there still, or whatever they're called. So she's had a good old crop of tomatoes. All right, let's go into the um, greenhouse and see how overgrown this is. This is what I've come up to water. My goodness, it's like Land of the Triffids or whatever, Day of the Triffids. Look at all those. So there's quite a lot of green tomatoes on there. God, there's quite a lot everywhere. There's flowers still. So they're quite late, aren't they? Don't know what these sticky things are. Look at my chilies. <laughs> They'll be ready to pick, really. So there's some other bits and bobs down there. I don't know what they are. So anyway, I'll get to watering. I'll speak to you in a bit. Oh, look, I just noticed what these are. Great big blooming chilli things. So there's not many on it, but there's a couple still coming up. We thought these were coming up very late. I remember now, and there's, there's only a couple on there, so we're not going to get much out of that. But I don't know what that is. Look, there's a black thing there. Can you see? Oh, dear. Wow. Just, and there's other... Ow! That was prickly. Well, I've got stung then, I'll tell you. Anyway, yes, I'm going to do the watering. Bye. That's that done, right. I thought I've got a chilli, only a little one, and a tomato. Which one shall I do first? I'll do the chilli first. Let's see. Flip it, Nick. <laughs> That's hot. Flipping heck. Yeah, that's hot. Should have brought some water with me. Flipping heck. Might need me tomato. Oh, now that's nice. Tomatoes and chilli. Oh, goodness me. Oh, God. Bye. Flipping heck. <laughs> so, in other news at the marina, they've got a um, new electric day boat. This might surprise you. I think it's bloody awesome. I think it's really cool. Um, it seems really easy to control. It's got thrusters and everything. It's just got like a joystick to control it. So, um, Obviously, if you think it's green, then you're a nutbag because how do they charge it? <laughs> it's just funny, isn't it? But yeah, for a day boat, I think it's not a bad idea. I really don't, because obviously it lasts a day. I don't know how long the batteries would last, but it'd be nice to do a little documentary on that. Maybe I'll have a word with the marina and see if they want to do one. I'll do it properly with the uh, cinema camera. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, who knows? But yeah, good idea. Although I'm going to predict something. That day boat is going to T-bone Hannah soon. I just have a feeling because they're training them in the marina itself in the you know the big bit and they come right by us to let your man off to open the bridge and it's been close a couple of times here's a little bit of video i did yesterday from the security camera so i don't know what the quality will be like see what you think but watch out in the background for a boat a, a reddish sort of boat where there's four people in the back or something i've got a story about that after you watch this bit <laughs> While I was kind of watching back that footage from the um, day boat, God, I forgot what it's called then, the day boat, that boat in the background started to come out and I thought, God, that's smoking a bit. But because there was three or four people on the back, I couldn't see whether there's a chimney stack because it just looked like a cruiser stern. So um, I was a bit surprised if it had a stack, but that's what I thought because it was smoking and I hadn't seen it move for a while. So I thought, well, just a really smoke engine. They go about halfway out of their um, berth 
and then went back in again. It was really smoking then. And when they stepped off, I could see that there wasn't another stack. So I thought, hmm, don't know what that was about. But then marina staff came over, fire extinguishers, there's some sort of fire inside by the looks. I don't know exactly, so don't, don't take me for my word there. But there's smoke coming from what looked like the inside. They got it under control. I didn't see any flames or anything. But yeah, that's a shocker, isn't it? I'd have been worried if I was the boat next door to them, to be honest with you. But yeah, so I hope they're all all right. I hope the boat's okay. I don't like seeing things like that. But you've got to be really careful with boats, haven't you? Anything could happen. There you go. So I think that's just about everything caught up. I'll see you back at the marina. I'm not sure what's planned for dinner today, but there's going to include chilies. <laughs> so they look good, don't they? Look at them. Oh, let's just turn the camera around. Sorry, bad camera, but then they look nice. So yeah, and that'll be good for Lee's cold, isn't it? Bit of chilli insider. Anyway, that's about that. There's definitely some sort of bleachy smell in my car. I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to ask the lady of the boat because it's not like it's clean in here or nothing really. So it hasn't done any dusting. But it kind of did. Anyway, can you smell it? <laughs> I'm just talking bollocks by. <laughs> <laughs> Something's going on. <laughs> Lee? Yes? Have a guess what? What? No one's seen you on video for ages. No. <laughs> You're still a snotty Arab? I am. Still snotty. Can you cough for everyone? No. Go on, just do a cough. <laughs> I thought it was my normal tickly cough thing that I have. This time of the year where you start having heating on in the car and at home or whatever. You haven't got heating in your car. No, I know. In the cash cow. It's another thing <laughs> that's wrong with your, your cash cow. <laughs> yeah, but heating in clients' houses and things. And I normally get a tickly cough for a couple of weeks and then it sorts itself out. Yeah, because we're proper hard sitting in the cold, aren't we? <laughs> it's going to make me cough now talking. But it's developed into a snotty cold. Anyway, so, Lee, what are we going to have for dinner tonight? Are we having hot, wet nooky? <laughs> That'll help you cold, won't it? it will. Yeah. I said knocky, everybody. <laughs> Hot, wet knocky. Well, she just give me the cold. <laughs> we're too old for that sort chilies. of nonsense. Yeah, we're going to have some fresh chilies and some knocky and some moistness. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd show you Lee because everyone misses you, Lee. Sure they do. Mm. I haven't done my hair today, sorry. Yeah, you're looking a bit grotty. Thanks. Say bye. <laughs> bye. I think she's on the mend a bit anyway. But anyway, another, other news. So we talked about the electric boat earlier, which I, as I said, I do think is quite a cool thing. But there's been something else going on here, uh, talking about electric. Now, apparently, because we don't really notice it if the electric goes on and off very much. Um, sometimes we're obviously on our own power. Um, when the inverter switches over, we don't know what's going on. We don't even know. So we're oblivious to it mostly and i would advise every boat to have a jackery or some sort of power station so when all this shit goes down then you've got backup as well as your solar on your boat and all that sort of stuff it's just a bit of good advice i think um i lent the jackery to one of the fellas on a boat a couple of boats away today just to try and sort out his washing machine um so now he wants to get one so people can see the benefits i'm not saying you should go and get a jackery but there's blue yeti and who's the other one um eco whatever delta max or whatever i don't know anyway um yeah but the electric has been going on and off on and off on and off on and off on the marina um it was going off this is just a little bit of gossip now I said i weren't going to get into marina gossip on a bit bugger it so i won't name names that's the key isn't it <laughs> anyway up top the electric up there was going off on and off on and off and there was a certain boat on there that seemed to be tripping it or that's what was being said. Now that particular boat has now moved down onto our row of electric along this side and the same thing's happening. So it could be a coincidence or there could be something weird going on. But normally our boats are protected themselves. So if we go over three kilowatts on Hannah, then we wouldn't take the post out. We'd take our boat out. It would fuse, you know, you know it'd trip its own switches. So for boats to actually be tripping the towers, that to me, I mean, I might be wrong. I kind of remember some of this when I did, because I did, I was an electrician as um, a youngster in work experience and all that sort of stuff. And I remember this being taught to me that a lot of it was to do with the ampage. So if there's some, there's only a certain allocation of ampage for these posts here. 
And if that goes over, then it will trip the whole system because it sees it as a fault. So if there's a boat leaking, uh, leaking electricity or ampage, which happens, um, then anyone else who then puts on something fairly heavy, we don't have a lot of heavy equipment on the boat that pulls a lot of ampage, to be fair, um, then it will trip the system. And that seems to be what's happening. So, I mean, whether this will be resolved or not, I don't know. Um, but as I say, if you're on a boat, I'd say just protect yourselves with jackeries and your own solar and stuff. So at least if the power does go out and it goes out for any extended period of time, you still keep your freezer going or your um, fridge or whatever. So that's my advice. But wouldn't it be funny? Wouldn't it be really funny that if all these issues with it going on and off were because they're charging the electric boat here? Because <laughs> that's going to be pulling some bloody ampage, isn't it? You do wonder. It's probably not, but I just thought that's a funny thing. It would be funny if that was it. But um, yeah, so that's that. So I've spoken about the electricity. I'm sure there's something else I suppose. Oh yeah. I spoke, I think, in the last vlog about radios, ham radio stuff. And I really kind of didn't really know what I wanted. And I, can't, I, I like listening, okay? I used to remember in the analog days, me and Lee had a, a scanner and you could pick up people's mobile phones when they was all on analog and it is hilarious hearing some of the conversations some of them were quite fruity let me tell you so um and i can't uh, although you can't do that anymore i did also like listen to the air band and all that sort of stuff so I, I have bought a little radio i was looking at something that was half decent or i thought was half decent but then i had a tight moment and i bought um what's it a quenching uk 5 8 which is the uk which is the version 6 of it so i don't even know and you don't get a lot. I'm gonna, I'll show you now, but it is quite cool. I still love it, but um, I probably need a bigger aerial because I've only got a little one, I'm afraid. It's, it's quite thin as well. And it just doesn't do the job sometimes. In desperation, it'll do the job, I guess. I'll show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, I'm holding the camera in my hand now, so it might be a bit wiggly, but this is my little Quan Sheng thing. And I've got it tuned into Radio Band. That's going to be quite hissy when it comes in because, um, well, it just is because, like I say, it's only a little thin one, I'm afraid. But let's turn her on and see what we get. When planes go above us, we actually get it quite clear. Now, I might be able to clean this audio up on um, my Mac, so I'll try that in a minute. I can understand it, and as I say, let's turn it down a bit. When planes are going above, I can hear it. Now, I'm not picking up a lot on other bands, I'm afraid to say. I have hacked this, done the Exuma firmware or something. People who know about radio probably know what I'm talking about. So I do pick up a bit more, but I don't know what I'm doing. So I've looked at aerials for outside, and then they're saying some do the different bands. So it's very confusing, but anyway. It has kept me quiet for a few days. So I've had it for, I think this is the third day, and the battery still lasts. I've had it all day yesterday, and I was telling one of the fellas here about it, and he came and sat in the crutch and had a couple of beers with me yesterday. So that was nice. So, um, yeah, we'll see where that takes me. I just kind of wanted a, another hobby, I guess. But, um, like I say, completely lost with it. Don't really understand much about it. I've, I, I now understand how to tune stuff in and try and find stuff. As I say, here in the marina, there's trees around us. I mean, when we used to have a TV aerial, we didn't get a lot because of the bloody trees. But what can you do? But I had kind of thought when we go out and about and we're on top of hills and stuff, it might be just interesting to see what we can hear. I say it's cheap as chips. 29 quid that cost me with a data cable. Um, so it was really enough. And that included the postage. So I've, I've seen people getting them even cheaper. But then when you put the postage on top, it comes out about the same. But I'll see how I get on. And I might buy... Maybe I really would prefer a real decent quality scanner, but then you're going to need an aerial and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, that's enough about my new little hobby. I think Lee and I are going to make a little Timu order again. So um, I think it was DBA, was it, saying we can contribute more to Americanism and Chinese, uh, sorry, Americanism and landfill, whatever the hell that means. So it means from China, so it's not Americanism. Anyway, I'm just taking the piss, DBA. Because you're a bit cryptic fella, or lady, I don't know what you are. It's weird, isn't it, that some of these YouTube people that talk to you don't have their actual name, or a proper name, like DBA and Numbers, or some is just user 964 well, 5964. Bizarre. Anyway, one waffles. 
I'm getting ready to have some nice hot wet gnocchi. Speak to you later. Bye. Yes? What are you doing? Looking at Timu. <laughs> you could do it for hours, couldn't you? You can, can't you? We've ordered some Christmas lights, haven't we? For outside. <laughs> I want to do something a bit better this Christmas, don't you? I think we need to have another gathering. <laughs> gathering. Oh, there's the um, thingy. I've got to go and turn that off now, for its sake, because that's just going to carry on. Sorry for that rude interruption. <laughs> Lee, Yes. did you enjoy your... Uh, no, cough. <laughs> so I had to wait for right. it to cough. Did, I enjoy did you well. enjoy your hot nook it nooky? Yeah, it was good. I mean, it wasn't as wet as normal, was it? It was a little bit dry, but it still slid down the throat easy enough and give you a nice warm feeling inside, didn't it? Stop it. What? Being rude. I'm not being rude. I enjoyed me knocky. <laughs> I put extra chilli sauce on it. Did you? Anyway. <laughs> oh dear, you could just look for hours, couldn't you? I just don't know what I'm looking for, really. I think Hector's really excited. Anyway, I'll leave you to it because you're not um, really adding much to the vlog, are you? Oh, I'm busy doing this. You know, I was asking about your warm feeling inside your tummy, and you just didn't. You know, I don't know. Oh, where's the pigeons? Where's the pigeons? Have you seen them off? You seen them off? Is it the pigeons? Is it the pigeons? Is gonna play gas roulette. She's um got herself out of bed at last and she's gonna have a shower. So um she was gonna play water roulette till I decided I'd best fill up the water because supposed to have filled up probably Saturday, so we've gone a day and a bit more than we should. Anyway, we are getting towards the end of this vlog, and I've been um obviously I keep thinking we had a little break and stuff. And I'm gonna get back to doing the um diary style vlogs as normal. Um so whatever but i'm also gonna because i like the 30 day challenge i'm gonna be doing some special ones as well so i've been writing down a few ideas i'll just get about let you share them a bit some sort of let me get where's my glasses i don't know i'm not very organized this morning it's been one of them mornings so yeah we're gonna do some stuff about time lapsing which i was going to do on the last one but listen just not just speeding up video <laughs> so proper time lapse stuff <coughs> oh excuse me I want to do something about the surrounding villages. Like we did something with a toaster, didn't we? A toaster. Um, there's a few other nice videos. Of, uh, <laughs> I just can't get me words out. There's a lot of nice little villages around here, so it might be an excuse to pop into the village pubs and that sort of stuff. We are going to do a down the line for Hector, um, just when we get round to it. It'd be nice if we actually have some decent weather coming, but it's not looking good this week. And because obviously the trees are turning nice colours now, so I wanted to do a bit of drone footage in that of the autumn colours. Fall, as you'd call it in America. I want to do some behind the scenes stuff about filming how we do it, because I've been asked loads of times now, um, so I will do that. I still want to go into a church, and um, I'll touch on that probably in our normal vlogs, actually, because, well, it's, it's not specifically about church. It's actually just about bloody religion in the UK and that there's a certain one taking over I'll do more cooking stuff there's a couple of woods and stuff I want to go to so there's the kind of things but if you've got any ideas of anything you want us to do remembering I'm not a performing seal which I keep saying um, but if there's anything you think would be interesting to make a special film on um, like we were doing in the um, 30 day challenge I would like to do one on the day boat here but I don't know whether that's going to be possible um, as and when I'll have a chat and see what happens Anyway, that's that for this one. Just to catch up, really. I know it's not the most exciting thing. Um, still a few other things to do. Then we'll get back down to doing the vlogs properly. And just see how it rolls. Um, one day I'll actually find something that I really, really like doing and do a specific channel about it. <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps not. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that nonsense. 
and wishily luck in the shower that the gas doesn't run out. See you in the next one. Bye.